Gandang hapon po. Let's call the public hearing of the Committee on Local Government Order. I'd like to greet our uh, beautiful friend from uh, Santa Rosa and uh, our uh, handsome friend from Batan, uh, Congresswoman Arlene Arcillas and Congressman Joet Garcia. Maraming salamat po unang-una sa suporta. Uh, nakabalik tayo. We just were proclaimed uh, today. And to our guests uh, from the office of uh, Rep. Parzaga, Rep. Swan Singh, please extend our uh, our thanks to your principals at sa mga taga op ibang opisina, LCP, CDA. So, well, first on the agenda is uh, the creation of barangays. Can we, with the indulgence of uh, Congressman Garcia, can we do ladies first? Sure. Yeah, we'll do uh, Rep. Arcelia's bill first. House Bill 9080 is an act separating the city of Santa Rosa from the first legislative district of the province of Laguna to constitute the lone legislative district of the city of Santa Rosa. Can we ask uh, the committee secretary to recognize the resource persons for this bill? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon, Congresswoman Arlene Arcelias and Kong Abbott. For this bill, we have invited uh, League of Cities, Mr. Secretary Gonzalez, um, and Comelec also, Ms. Attorney Rosanne de la Cruz Reyes. We have also invited the ILG, Mr. Chair, and um, the representative from the ILG. Wala. They're a bit late, that was their okay, best sige. effort. Po. That's it? Yes, that's okay. it, sir. Uh, we'll Mr. give Chair. the floor to the sponsor, Congresswoman Arcillas, in case she wants to uh, say anything in support of the measure. Of course, um, good afternoon uh, to our uh, chairman and to the body. Um, this humble representation would like to seek the approval of this committee on, uh, on House Bill 9080, an act separating the city of Santa Rosa from the first legislative district of the province of Laguna to constitute the lone legislative district of the city of Santa Rosa. And um, the city is very well qualified to be a lone district. Um, with its population and with its income, as well as um, the rate that the population has been growing. population is uh, 353,000. Yes. So that's very co uh, much qualified, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Comsec, what's the income? Does it meet the requirements? Hmm? Uh, no income requirement, just population for a district, okay. Right, right. So can we ask uh, Comelec to Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, and congratulations on your proclamation today. Um, sir, um, we for House Bill 9080, we pose no objections or specific particularly on Section 3 thereof as to the issuance of the implementing rules and regulations within, within 60 days from um, within 60 days from the effectivity of the Act. So we um, we support the passage of the bill. Okay, uh, LCP. Yeah. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Uh, congratulations on your proclamation as a new se senator. So, on the part of LCP, we would like to express our support on the bill as uh, we believe that the creation of a legislative district uh, in Santa Rosa would represent uh, the specific needs and interest of the city. Great. Uh, are you here for this? No, I think you're here for the other bills, no? Uh, Yung cooperatives, this si for, uh, Attorney Hernandez. You're not here for this bill, no? Uh -oh. So no other comments? Would you like to comment on this bill? Did you know what affected Jenny, no? So I, I don't see any reason why we should not approve it. So the committee approves this bill. Uh, there's no provision. Okay, my staff has raised the issue of uh, what will happen to the first district since only one LGU will remain with it, San Pedro City. Do we refer to it as the first legislative district or the lone legislative district of San Pedro City? Um, uh, Mr. The terminology Chair. na lang to, subject to style, no? Um, Mr. Chair? Yes. Um, as per our um, committee hearing in, in Congress, um, mm -hmm. the first legislative district will now be um, composed of San Pedro and then a lone district from Santa Rosa. So let's not to um, change the... So we just call yes, it the first legislative district. district. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. So that's been clarified. So the committee uh, secretary is instructed to prepare the committee report and submit it to. Uh, it's prepared already. Okay. So yeah, let's file it then. Thank you. 
Thank you, uh, Congresswoman. Uh, kahit wala ka dito, papasa namin to. <laughs> Thank you, Congresswoman Arcelias. Salamat muli. And congratulations. Now we go to the creation of barangays. We have House Bill 8953. This is an act creating a barangay in the municipality of Limay, province of Bataan, to be known as Barangay St. Francis II. By, uh, we'll recognize Congressman Joe Garcia for uh, any remarks he may have. Good afternoon. Thank you, uh, Honorable Chair, uh, on the Committee on Local Government guests. Um, first of all, let me extend also uh, our warmest congratulations to the Honorable uh, Senator for uh, the over overwhelming uh, election in this uh, for his second term. I think this is a clear testament of the enormous trust and confidence of uh, all Filipinos uh, in his uh, capacity as a Senator, most especially from the people of uh, Bataan. <laughs> Uh, House Bill Number 8953 seeks to confirm and perpetuate the creation of Barangay St. Francis II in the municipality of Limay, Bataan. Uh, Barangay St. Francis II was originally created via or Ordinance Number 11, adopted on December 16, 1996, by the Sangonian Panlalawigan of the province of Bataan. Its creation was duly ratified in a plebiscite conducted on September 14, 1997, and supervised by the Commission on Elections. Being a mere creation of the provincial government of Bataan, Barangay St. Francis II is not receiving any share in the internal revenue allotment allocated to LGUs pursuant to Section 285 of the LGC. Its operation is funded purely by internally generated revenues and from financial assistance received from Limay and the province of Bataan. The creation of the Barangay St. Francis II through this proposed measure will officially recognize and fully endow it with the requisite powers, rights, and privileges necessary and appropriate for a barangay duly created by law. It, lack, it likewise entitles it to the much-needed share in the IRA, which will enable it to undertake developmental projects for the benefit of its constituents. I'm therefore imploring this honorable committee to approve the creation of Barangay St. Francis II. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Congressman Garcia. Can we ask the uh, DILG sana, no? Komelek, any comment on this bill? Mr. Chair, as a reading of Section 3 of um, the House Bill provides that uh, the plebiscite has already been conducted. So, um, either not needed, no? Yes, sir, and we confirm that. Are you going to plebiscite to it? No, sir, it's our. Uh -huh. <laughs> we post no. Uh, easy, eh? no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. Uh. Okay, sir. Um, based on record, sir, the, um, the plebiscite was conducted on September 14, 1997. And, I'm sorry, yes, 1997. Uh, and, um, in view, of, in view of this, sir, um, we pose no objection. It, it, um, the plebiscite requirement has already been substantially complied. Thank you. Since the ILG is not here, no? as long as it meets the... I mean, it's already a barangay, existing barangay. No? The only requirement of uh, population, right? It's the only requirement for a barangay. Yes, uh -oh. So I assume it meets it. Does it meet it? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Na to. Any other comments from the body? Wala na siguro. Hi, Congressman Marquez. You're welcome to sit on this side, sir. Thank you, sir. I'd like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Congressman, former Governor uh, Marquez. Welcome, sir. Thank you for uh, helping us in Aklan. Good afternoon. <laughs> Salamat, sir. So, okay. We'll uh, prepare the committee report uh, for the creation of the barangay what is the name? Barangay St. Francis II. Okay. Congratulations, Congressman. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we go to the next two bills. These are House Bill 9043 and House Bill 9044. An act creating a barangay in the city of Dasmarinas, province of Cavite, to be known as Barangay Victoria, Reyes. And an act creating a barangay in the city of Dasmarinas, province of Cavite, to be known as Barangay New Era. Yeah, we'll turn it over to the Chief Political Officer of Congresswoman Jenny Barzaga. This yes, is uh, Ms. Bernadette Laurel. It's not your first time here, ma'am. <laughs> You've it's been my here second. before. Yeah. Yes, I've been here before, yeah. sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to uh, um, the Honorable Chair, Senator Ansani Angara. And on behalf of the city government of Dos Marinas, headed by uh, Mayor P.D. Barzaga and uh, Congressman elect, uh, now Congressman elect, and uh, Kong Jenny Barzaga. Now, a mayor elect of the city, 
we would like to congrat would like to congratulate you for the ma magnanimous victory, thank you. sir. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. And this humble representation would like to seek the approval of the body regarding the creation of the two barangays in the city of Tasmarinas, particularly Victor Victoria Reyes and um, uh, some Paloc Five or open close paren parenthesis New Era, sir. We're also both qualified, just like uh, Bataan, no? Yes. 14,000 inhabitants, 3,000 plus inhabitants. Yes, so that's correct, sir. Should be no problem. Any objections from the body? If there are none, then we'll uh, refer these bills to. Thank you, sir. Actually, we're just, I'm just waiting for Mr. Lloyd Paras, Sinian. the head and legal research office of LMB, because of the After, uh, yes, bounce. yes, because Sige. it requires we the technical. We follow na lang yun, because yes, uh, yes, anyway, in the period of amendments, we can uh, yes. accommodate it, no? Thank you very much, sir. Given the time, you have six session days left, so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, next on the agenda is item three. This is the mandatory appointment of cooperatives officers in LGUs. Uh, we have two bills. One is uh, Senate Bill 2181, authored by Senator Juan Miguel Zubiri. Next is House Bill 5682, authored by Representatives Loyola, Marquez, Wan Singh. It's an act making the position of a cooperative officer mandatory in the municipal, city, and provincial levels, amending for the purpose the local government code. Uh, we'll recognize Congressman Marquez, sir. Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, first of all, I would like to extend my warmest congratulations for winning the seat for next Congress. And also to thank you for uh, the new district. So I am now the first congressman of the first district. And there's also the first congressman for the second district. Thank you very much, sir. Opo. <laughs> yes, right, my House Bill number 2285, which is now consolidated under uh, House Bill number 5682, um, regarding the mandatory creation of a cooperative office for uh, municipal, city, and uh, the provincial. And I would like to offer my explanatory note as my uh, sponsorship uh, speech for this matter, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Congressman Marquez, we have also with us the representative of uh, Congresswoman Swansing, Mr. Tom Eldan. You want to say anything, sir? Well, initially, at the uh, onset, our fondest congratulations to all the representatives Salamat who won their election. Congresswoman. Salamat. And most especially, I'm sure the Congresswoman, if she were here, would like to extend her fondest congratulations to the chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, with these two bills, we would like to move for its swift approval so it can be hastily brought <laughs> to the bicam. That is it, sir. Approve it uh, as, as it is. There will be no bicam because it's the same, exact same version. So um, maybe we'll hear from the leagues and the, the CDA. CDA, Attorney Hernandez. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon the, to the chair and congrats. Po. Uh, the CDA is very much okay with the proposed uh, law or the bill. Uh, however, we are of the opinion that while the uh, proposed uh, law is uh, provides the mandatory appointment of the uh, LGU cooperative officer in every LGU, uh, it is be we believe that there should be a delineation as to the uh, duties and functions of the uh, personnel of the CDA or the C CDA in general in relation to that of the uh, LGU cooperative officer. Uh, specifically, the that there should be no encroachment as to the power of uh, as to the regulatory power of the. CDA, Your Honor. Any potential conflict pa, between uh, the national and the local? Um, Your Honor, as to the um, 
as provides under Section 484 of the House Bill 5682, mm -hmm. Paragraph C, uh, it provides an um, overbreath provision, Your Honor. So uh, we, we suggest that there should be a, a limitation so that. 484, letter. Letter C, Your Honor. Letter C. Can you read the um, provision um, which you find? Uh, yes. Oh. You exercise such other powers? Yes, Your and Honor. And perform such other that duties? exercise such other powers and perform such other duties and functions as may be prescribed by law or ordinance. You find that too broad? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Why? Um, well, it, it should be in relation with the cooperative laws, Your Honor. Specifically, what, what, what the... What does the cooperative law provide with respect to... Does it provide for a local cooperatives officer? Um, as long as it would not uh, encroach as to the regulator regulatory power of the uh, CDA, Your Honor. Yeah, parang wala naman. Oh. Exercise such other powers and perform such as duties as functions may be prescribed by law or ordinance. Yeah. Local government function. Mm -hmm. And we further uh, em emphasize, Your Honor, that the mandatory uh, appointment of LGU cooperative officer uh, would only be for the development or for the for assisting the cooperatives in the empowerment of the cooperative movement in the Philippines. Yeah. I just have a question for the Comsec. Why are the why is Section Five of the Bill in capitals also creating an ENRO or amending the ENRO powers? Why? Bakit naka all caps yung ano? Yung section 487 of the local government code. Yeah. On page 8 of the House Bill. Because the title of the bill is An Act Making the Position of Cooperatives Officer Mandatory. There's no reference to the ENRO. So why is the ENRO in capitals? Dun sa dulo. Hindi ba rider yun? Is that also in the Senate bill? Yeah. Was it the intention, Congressman Marquez, to include the ENRO? No. 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 So. so maybe that's surplusage, no? Yeah. I I, we just saw it now. Oh. Right. But even the Senate bill also mentions the ENRO. So what's the pleasure of Congressman Marquez? We remove that part about uh, the ENRO? Yeah, I think this is not in... Sir Tomeldan? Yes. <coughs> it's not your concern. Yeah. So we can remove it. Yeah. There's no objection to removing it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because the title only refers to cooperatives officer, but that's correct. The body mentions the ENRO. Don't know why. Oh. Huh? You, you clarify with Senator Zubiri. <laughs> okay. So uh, we'll wait for that qualification, but uh, pending that, in principle, we can approve this measure with respect to the cooperatives officer. No? But, uh, but, but first, we'll hear the, sorry, <laughs> we're getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> 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 we haven't heard from the. Tapos na yung CDA, no? Tapos na. Um, uh. I, I would just like to manifest, uh, Your Honor, that the CDA and the DALG just recently signed a joint memorandum circular, uh, also regarding with the uh, development and uh, assistance for the uh, uh, cooperatives. Uh, actually, in that uh, circular, it provides the establishment of a, an, a local lo cooperative office uh, providing the, in the functions of that office. Yeah. So I think we can, we, we, can, uh, be, uh, we can refer to that as basis also. Uh, Mr. Gonzalez, LCP.
Uh, after that although presented. we are yet to issue an official position on, on the bill, sir, uh, we would like to initially express our concern regarding the uh, continued uh, compliance of the LGUs regarding the personal services cap. So, uh, looking at uh, looking at NCR alone, uh, six uh, or six or uh, six cities already maximized their cap uh, based on 2015 figures. Uh, actually, it's in. <laughs> but uh, uh, yes. It's a valid point. Uh. Oh. Ms. Sanchez, yeah. Yes, Mr. Chair. As in, as the same as our position in the House of Representatives, we support the creation of the cooperatives office. However, we are a bit apprehensive as to the PS limitations. Yung ipapasweldo nyo po namin, paano po yun? So the DVM will be uh, will be after us if we go beyond the PS limitations. However, po, if it's just by designation, I think we can work that out, po, Mr. Chair. But I read in. Uh, one of the newspapers, the ERA is up by 12% yes. across the board. So, hindi mo magkaka elbow room doon sa loob nun? Yes, Mr. Oh. Chair, pero ang dami pa pong ano, there are still other mandatory offices that have not been created Talaga? because of the Which PS are those? Cap. What are those? Yung sa disabilities office, officer po, oh, okay. tapos in some provinces, there are still some PDRRMO that have not yet been established. Although, nandiyan na yung office po, hindi pa complete yung staffing. Mm -hmm. And then there are also some mandatory offices for Mr. Chair that have not been filled up all because of the PS limitations. Is it po. a better idea to amend the cap, the PS cap? We've been asking for that, yeah. po, pero oh. I don't think the DBM would support that. No, that's in the law, eh, di ba? Yung, yung personal services, that's in the law. So if we amend it in the law, the DBM has no choice. Oh. So maybe we can look at that, no? Uh, in the meantime, siguro dagdagan natin yung ano. Hindi ma implement. <laughs> so, any other comments? Anyway, we have to clear up a matter regarding the end row with uh, Senator Zubiri no? before we uh, finally pass this bill. So the end row is uh, contained in my separate bill. And then, son, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, was, uh, it found its way into this uh, measure somehow. Siguro uh, ng matype lang ito, nasama ito kasi sa ano ito eh. Yeah. Oh. It's a local government code. Right, mm. right. It, well, it's the, it's the immediately succeeding article, I think. Of No, it's not even, because 484, then 487. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so we'll uh, discuss with Senator Zubiri what is this is. But we on time bill, so thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll, uh, if there is, uh, if we clear up that matter, we can refer the matter to the bill to plenary already, since we only have six session days left. Salamat po, salamat. Thank you.